How to perform device firmware update on your iPhone and iPad Things to know before updating iPhone firmware Make sure to back up all important data in case anything goes wrong Second, after the firmware update, your device software will be updated to the latest one Third, if your device was damaged by water, don't perform device firmware update The update can cause even more damage Fourth, to restore your device's firmware, use Finder or iTunes Perform device firmware update on iPhone 11, 12, 13 and SE. Connect your device to a PC or a Mac. Press the volume up button and release it. Then quickly press and release the volume down button. Now press and hold the side button for about 10 seconds until your screen goes black. Keep holding the side button and press the volume down button for about 5 seconds. After 5 seconds, release the side button, but keep holding the volume down button for 10 seconds. You should see a message appear on your PC or Mac asking to restore your device. Click on Restore iPhone. Perform device firmware update on iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. Connect your device to a PC or a Mac. Press and hold the side button for 3 seconds then press the volume down button. Don't release the side button. Now, keep pressing and holding both buttons for 10 seconds. If your iPhone starts restarting, repeat the process again. Now release the side button but keep holding the volume down button for 5 more seconds Your iPhone should then enter the DFU mode Click on Restore iPhone on your PC or Mac Perform device firmware update on iPhone 6 and older Connect your device to a PC or a Mac Press and hold the side button for 3 seconds then press the home button Now keep pressing and holding both buttons for 10 seconds If your iPhone starts restarting Repeat the process again. Now release the side button but keep holding the home button for 5 more seconds. Your iPhone should then enter the DFU mode. The screen will be black. You should see a message appear on your PC or Mac asking to restore your device. Click on Restore iPhone. Perform device firmware update on iPad with Face ID. Connect your device to a PC or a Mac. Press and hold the power button for 3 seconds then press the volume down button. Don't release the power button. Now, keep pressing and holding both buttons for 10 seconds. If your iPad starts restarting, repeat the process again. Now, release the power button but keep holding the volume down button for 5 more seconds. Your iPad should then enter the DFU mode. Click on Restore iPad on your PC or Mac. Perform device firmware update on iPad with a home button. Connect your device to a PC or a Mac. Press and hold the power button for 3 seconds then press the home button. Don't release the power button. Keep pressing and holding both buttons for 10 seconds. If your iPhone starts restarting, repeat the process again. Now release the power button but keep holding the home button for 5 more seconds. Your iPad should then enter the DFU mode. The screen will be black. You should see a message appear on your PC or Mac asking to restore your device. Click on Restore iPad. Exit DFU on all iPhones and iPads. To exit DFU on iPhone 11, 12, 13, SE, and iPad with Face ID, press the volume up button and release it. Then quickly press and release the volume down button. Then, press and hold the side button on iPhone or the power button on the iPad until you see the Apple logo. To exit DFU on iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, simultaneously press and hold the side button and the volume down button. Release the buttons when the Apple logo appears. To exit DFU on iPhone 6s and older and iPads with the home button, simultaneously press and hold the home button and the side button for iPhones, and the power button for iPads. Release the buttons when you see the Apple logo. Hopefully, this video provided the information you were looking for. If you're using a Mac computer, we would like to suggest scanning it with Combo Cleaner. It will check your computer for malicious software infections and advertising supported software. The Disk Cleaner option will scan your computer for app caches, logs, downloaded files, and files still sitting in the trash. It will also show you how much space what files take up on your Mac. Combo Cleaner will also help you look through all big files on your Mac and delete those you don't need. You can also scan Mac for duplicate files. 
Sometimes you might not know that you have a few copies of the same file. A privacy scanner that will help you remove cookies, cache, browse history and more. And an app uninstaller that will find all hidden app components and uninstall them for you. You won't need to worry about viruses and clutter on your Mac anymore. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel.